and we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, 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 I already been getting these back, but but but, but now it's time for is. you to get your just do. Yeah, you know the deal. We back again. Yo. A round of applause for Jersey's finest. A lot of content creators not worthy, but they minus. They get offended and start singing like the whiners. Talking like they tough, but it's only screaming and whining. My homie just do us to catch you don't come to your squad get run through by the time you come to your duck food You suckers talk tough on the internet revealing all your threats now we got you trapped in the net Just do be on this grind y'all better hustle up you dead lifted 90 pounds we doing muscle ups There's really no comparison his voice sound like a derringer throwing a towel that's just embarrassing my dog just very philosophical and psychological And he mixed it all with good boxing news These YouTubers feel like Bishop, I guess they got the juice But it's lonely at the top to just to feel like child abuse Be respectful, he don't wanna talk wild and loose If you can't relate, you get dismissed like a mild dispute These weird cats will tell lies that they ain't hide the truth Why beyond views, you lose your life when you collide with dude It's just do boxing Or you cowards quit jockin' Kirk is official with no other options. Yeah, yo. You know the deal. Judah Ben, we in the spot. Just do boxing, yeah. And of course, shout out to Mrs. Do. Holding the whole family down. Word them up, word them up. What's good, family? What's good with the fam? Good Tuesday to the family, man. I'm just uh, just doing a morning build, man. Just doing a morning build. For anybody that didn't catch this, I'm going to play this interview from uh, Jamal and Jamel when they went on that I Am An Athlete, I Am Athlete show with uh, Brandon Marshall and Deshaun Jackson. And y'all know I'm all about gyms and, and truly building, and I think it'd it be some dope dope takeaways from these type of interviews like you you see a different side of jamal charlo you get some you get probably a little bit better understanding of what he's been dealing with and how insensitive people could be when you are athlete they think that you're above going through things you get what i'm saying so i think this shows him be vulnerable and 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 real and it, you got two options you could respect what he's going through what he said he's dealing with or you could just talk crazy like everybody else been doing. But for me, I like Charlo. I ain't never seen him to be a, a sucker as a fighter or none of that. Never seen him to be a diva. You know, they all talk trash. That's what fighters do. That's what boxing is, right? But number one thing, can he fight? Absolutely, he can. He's a real fighter, man. So I, I, I truly appreciate the Charlos and what they bring to the sport of boxing. It's not about agreeing with everything they do, but you 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 know you just respect them and you support them. You know what I'm saying you support them as fighters, as individuals. You want to see them win. Salute to everybody that's gonna pull up. Anybody that catch this playback, make sure y'all smash that like button, sub to the channel, drop a comment below. Let me know what you what you feel about this live. But we gonna build on this. I'm gonna play this uh interview. Like I said, let me say what's up to the family. Miss Just Do, my baby girl. How you feeling? Appreciate you stopping through. Yeah, I know. Don't worry, but I, I most likely will be back at my time, too. So I'm saying it's just a bonus live. It's just a bonus. Just to build with the people. Salute to my baby girl, man. Salute to everybody that's pulling up. Deep Free, my bro. What's happening with the Deep Free? Johnny Q, what's happening, my bro? What's good with you, bro? How you feeling? Ghost, what's good with it? Ghost, how you feeling, bro? Salute, dude. Chat, War Diamonds. Yeah, we like a diamond, show. We like a diamonds, Ghost. We we want to see this dude get his shot. You know what I'm saying? 
Jose Diaz, salute to you, Brody. Appreciate you pulling up. Flawless mentality. Dr. Mark, salute to the OG. Much love and respect. How you feeling today? Salute to everybody. Edgar Chavez, Jersey in the building. Jamal say his brother, but not Spence. That's tough, right? <laughs> mm. It's crazy, right? We're going to play this, man. So, again, some of y'all might have heard it. Some of y'all might didn't, but we're going to build on it. I'm going to get my just do on it in between. But I think this was a dope listen. It was something good to, you know what I mean, to hear. Jay Waj, what's good, family? How you feeling? So salute to everybody, man. Good time. You're going to be another KO. <laughs> yeah, man. I like, I like um Adamus, but he better not be overlooking J-Rock. I know J-Rock ain't looking like no killer or none of that. But don't be too, uh, you know what I mean? Don't don't take your eye off the prize, Adamus. You've been doing well. You got one loss. One lonely loss since then, you've been kicking all types of ass. So just continue to stay focused. And it's only so long people could deny you your shot. You get what I'm saying? All he got to do is just keep winning. And I root for him because he, he's an exciting young fighter in the sport. You know what I'm saying? He's somebody that you really could uh, get behind and pay attention to. He put that work in and, and he here, man. So they could they could only slow down what's what's planned for him they can't stop it you get what i'm saying they can only delay it you know what i mean but we're gonna play this y'all salute to everybody pulling up for this morning build man salute to the fan mo i know i'm early but like i said i'm more than likely i'm coming back to it my normal at our normal time at four o'clock but i thought this was just something that we all could get a good listen to it's early you know what i mean we gonna build man we gonna build like we always do I mean, like it's J-Rock Prime, J-Rock, they've been denying him his whole career. They're going to continue to. Nah, they can't. But they, you get what I'm saying, Ghost? They can they deny him, but it's only so much they can they can stop this man. All you got, he's going to keep winning. He's going to put himself in a position where you can't ignore him. And people are going to start publicly demanding that people fight this dude. Thrill Hill, what's good with it, bro? Top of the morning to y'all, man. Appreciate y'all pulling up. I know it's early. You know what I'm saying? But we're going we gonna, to we gonna get this bill going. Right, man. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Ghost, he's going to be good. He's going to be all right. All you got to do is just keep winning, which I believe he's going to continue to do. You know what I'm saying? I like Carlos Adamas. I like what he brings to the table. I like his attitude, his energy. The only thing I didn't like, I mean, I, I get the name calling stuff, but it's like people don't believe that he's going through what he's going through. You know what I'm saying? And he, he this this interview going going to touch on a lot of that. So we're going to play this, man. Salute to everybody. could be people the closest people to you all the guys everybody that you grew up with any, bro did you sometimes you just don't understand it bro. so it make me kind of you know it if you understand you understand you know what i mean and then take people to go through things to understand my chief of staff bonnie she hit me one day and she said you know what i just learned she said i learned that you never know when a lion is crying because they roar, yep. and that's crying, and it's also, I'm about to go hunt. So exactly. you never know. I don't talk about this really. Exactly. Much, even like to my brother. Talk but, to him. But like, for the fact that you really know what I'm going through. All right, bro. We had to fight to get a meal. Hold on. I don't want that. I'm going to skip that. I don't want no copyright for that song. Hold on, y'all. Let me get it right. down with some right, we gonna get fighters. through this y'all salute to everybody appreciate y'all pulling up 20. on this early unexpected live but i just felt like it was some real good jewels in this to listen to put food on the table yeah no listen 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 let me be clear man i understand him completely wanting to fight feeling like he deserved his shot and all those things i understand that but um see how you saying look at it from his side we try and put food on the table and i understand that he's not wrong for it but i think we 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 become insensitive when we try to say what somebody's going through because he talks like a fighter he he should you, you get what i'm saying he can't go through now he ain't pussy you get what i'm saying but he the stuff he going through is real so i i can see it on both ends i see him wanting his opportunity but that's that's that can that can be fixed that can be worked out with charlo dealing with it's bigger than boxing it's bigger than a win or a loss or you getting an opportunity. You get what I'm saying? 
this was some he gonna speak on some good stuff in this this is why i played this you know what i'm saying but i definitely get you ghost that's why i'm an advocate for boxing so you know me i get it he deserves his opportunity just like anybody else what somebody else is going through don't have nothing to do with him getting the opportunity but as it pertains to this particular situation this is not something that charlo is accustomed to doing you get what i'm saying long layoffs and inactivity you get what i'm saying so it's new to him so he really dealing with some stuff and i think why and and then look like at the end of the day you got a you got a whole fight schedule so you never know by the time you get that fight and they saying charlo's supposed to be in around june or july you get what i'm saying things will work themselves out like there's no need to say what he's not going through and call him a coward because he said he's going through stuff I, I i don't think he a coward but i get it you just want an opportunity like everybody else and you're not wrong for that you get what i'm saying um just do is is a re I, you know i represent both sides of the spectrum you get what i'm saying i, I get both of them their credit and i understand where both guys are coming from charlo just ain't in a real position to you know what i mean get him, let him get back active and i say i think you get a fight and we see what he look like look go straight for the top bro go straight for the top straight for the top straight for the top you know what i'm saying yeah man i feel you man salute to carlos adamas we we have we advocates for guys getting they just do especially me you know what i'm saying it's bigger than by that's what i'm saying and again i get i get it you know he he deserves his opportunity but i think look just follow me for a second you is you here right now you got a june 24th date i believe it's the 24th with j-rock handle business by that time charlo might be in the ring get him a fight and then before you know it you're gonna be getting your opportunity that's what i believe you get what i'm saying i truly believe that because he's he's a good fighter man He's a damn good fighter. I like Carlos Adams. Mike Jones, salute, fan. Appreciate you pulling up. They was they wasn't articulating good at all. We gonna see. We gonna we gonna we gonna break it down, Mike Jones. And that's what your boy Just is here to do. Articulate this for y'all in, in in places they might may have not done it. So salute to everybody. Y'all punch that like button. We gonna get through this, man. Salute to everybody, man. Rubio from do view he just a different type of life yeah but that is i mean look anybody it it don't take it don't matter what you've been through like you get what i'm saying that you should be able to understand especially matter of fact let me say it this way the fact that you're saying what he's been through he should be able to understand what charlo going through then you get what i'm saying that's all i'm saying like it's bigger than boxing even even david benavidez the mexican monster the guy that they told told us hated charlo what did he do when he seen charlo the last time they embraced and part of the reason why they probably embraced one they never really had no beat to begin with two he probably done heard and understand what charlo dealing with so he willing to put all that little petty stuff aside because he understand that man ain't all the way right that's all i'm saying we just got to be more uh, understanding of of unexpected things in, in boxing it's not like this dude somewhere just self-destructing and me messing up his situation right i mean going through some things so even if carlos don't see it, i see it and i still see his point of view though you get what i'm saying but i, I give charlo that 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 respect that you know people are, are entitled to go through through things and it's unexpected like this you know what i mean a1 hoop zone salute to my bro what's good with it a1 how you feeling zach b what's good with it family yeah, that's why i thought that's why i'm here today zach you know what i'm saying just to play it for anybody in here and we're gonna we're gonna break it down i'm gonna try not to stop it let them build and then i'll get my thoughts in between salute to the family let's let's work y'all world-class fighters i got twins yeah you know and when you're identical there's something right like oh if you give someone a hint like yo if you this is how you understand who's who what is it uh our personalities probably just the way we are naturally you seem real serious and yeah. you seem like just wild as hell bro still in training mode though he, he said he ain't dog training. i'm training too uh, it's just all natural uh um, i have you i, 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 I yeah. think his training a little different from just a minute ago no 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 he's just finished training that's why he, nah, I'm, I'm, he I'm, piped I'm, down right now but nah, he, he, he like that he like that What's, what's, the, what's that competition level like for both of y'all? Obviously, being twins, growing up with each other, neck in, buy out. You feel what I'm saying? Like, when y'all challenging each other, like, what, what's that next level like? Who going to take it there? Who going to be the laid back? We motivate each other for real. 
to I'm be great. Honest, I'm great. Yeah, and I am I'm the good. greatest. So it's like, oh, what? I love you, it though. Like, good, see, this the like, energy I yeah, live. Yeah, okay. So yeah, that's, that's like, spirit, man. I'm great. He good. He, he said he greatest. <laughs> Just imagine though, we can't be around each other. I think we only um they only give us they only give us about um three hours a day around each other. So what's that like? What you well, hold on, what think the head bus like? Cause I, I, I feel what like you mean they only give you up three hours. <laughs> yeah, cause it get real hectic. Like it, it'll get real hectic. Like uh, the same person. Then yeah, like we try to change. We try to change up our like uh, you know, growing up stages. You know, you've been around someone your whole life growing up. It's like you don't want to you go go off and live your life. I'm gonna go off and live yeah, my life. Cause I'm doing, we're gonna do the I'm same doing thing it this way, you're doing it this way. Yeah. Battling each other the whole it's gonna time. Be like two bulls on the same two trains on the same sure. track. So so no, nah, so my my question was cause I think I think y'all y'all missing. I'm saying so in the in the ring, right? Don't don't be messy, bro. No, nah, I'm being real because I got to, gang. <laughs> I, I I got I'm to gang. Listen, no, at the end of the day, the reason why I'm asking, cause everybody say Floyd, he's sneakier, he do certain things, he hits you when you ain't supposed to really be hit, but at the end of the day. Like what edge do you use when you in the ring to saying like rules to fighting? Like you feel what I'm saying? What's your edge in the ring? I would go to yoga, but I don't have the right gear. Pardon me, yeah. What's your edge in the ring? Um, me personally, my edge in the ring is just my uh, like you don't want to get even hit with one of those sneaky shots. Like one of those sneaky shots could be a problem to you. So, um, but Floyd, he he. You know, I gotta be careful what I say because Floyd is a goat and I hear a legend and I got a lot of respect for him. But like, I think I could take any one of those sneaky shots. I don't care what type of sneaky shot he threw at me. It was, it would, it would <laughs> affect me at all. It's that fighter spirit. A lot spirit. of the guys he fought, they was affected by those little nitty pick and pat shots. But um, still to this very day, I think that I, I had the in boxing, I had the best chance against him. So you see where I'm going though with this, right? Cause I, cause I, I, I want to know, like, if he was to get in the ring with him, what you feel like? I know you gonna take you yourself. Go. Gonna like, talk that talk. I could have, knock, I could have knocked Floyd out, but it would have been considered to the boxing world a lucky shot. So I would have never got the gratitude, anyways. So he's destined for what he is. Me and Floyd hanging out in Vegas, right? Let me stop him real quick before you get into his story. This is what he's supposed to say. He's supposed to say he feel like he could take anything he gonna throw at him. That's the fighter in him. Some people will hear that and be like, ah, why is he saying he's supposed to talk like that? And no matter what we think, how to play out if they was to fight each other, like I don't see him knocking Floyd out at all, like at, at all, like I, I truly don't. I just don't. Canelo couldn't touch him and knock him out. I don't think he would knock him out. You know what I'm saying? I just think Floyd, just a special generational talent. You get what I'm saying? It's a difference between you know talent and gifted, and he's both. He's talented and God gifted. You get what I'm saying? And that's what makes Floyd a one of one type of fighter, a truly generational talent. Yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm telling you, Ghost. That young Floyd, man, well, nothing to play with. God, so what's good with my bro? How you feeling this morning, man? Salute to y'all pulling up on this early bonus live. Like I said, I'm going to be back at our normal time at four o'clock as well with a little boxing build. We just going to keep this train rolling. We working today. I just thought it was some good gems to pull from this. Um, this bill between these brothers and it, it show you a different side of Charlo's. You know what I'm saying? Might answer some questions that people had as well. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's what I'm saying, Ghost. And that's where I'm at with it. I, I like to hear the confidence because that's why I think makes him as great as he is. You get what I'm saying? If Jamel Charlo lacked confidence, I don't think he'll be as good a fighter as he is. Simply put, like, and he got all the confidence in the world. You know what I'm saying? That he can be anybody. And that's what I appreciate about him. Are we gonna get into this salute to the fam? Y'all yeah, punch the like button for me. And um, we in Vegas, we hanging out with uh, and Rose and you know, Rick Floyd, you know what I'm saying? This is OG. So, like, so we OG hanging out, he like, hey, bro, um, which one of y'all want to fight me? <laughs> I was like, bro. <laughs> Sounds just like Floyd. You know? I, was just, I was just like, I kind of locked up. I, I kind of locked up. Oh, uh, we was like, man, it was crazy, crazy, crazy. I was like, Nah, man, like, I heard in your weight division, no right. more. Like, I'm 160 Floyd. Like, right. that was, that was, bro. Yeah. He, been, he always wanted to fight Floyd. My bro but God, that's God, why he's beauty. 
That's why right I let, now, but that's why I let that passion though, because I, I, I that's why who's undisputed him because like one thing right. about him is like right. he always like challenges himself to, to like to like I want Floyd, like I want Floyd. And that's you know, what like, I was saying. Because I seen him at this point. Steady be like, you know, where the Canellos, where the GGGs, where where the big guys, and we the big guys, like we are the big guys. So how y'all miss each other then? Like everybody you name, how you know it. Well, I think you had it built, and Floyd had a built at that's the same time, right? Can, can, can I express that? Can I, can I go ahead, it get it off, because that's what I really wanted to know, bro. Break it down, for please. Me? Go ahead, break it down. Please. All right. So, at, at that time and era, in 2018, just to give you really graphical points, um, I was Floyd was the the champion. Canelo was number one. Miguel Cotto was number two. And then it was, uh, I think, I, I don't really remember who was number three. I think, I know, I'm sorry. I was number three and then number four and then all uh, and so long. But so Canelo was doing his thing, trying to make it. It might have been 20, 2018 or 2019. So I was trying my best to get to the champion. Like, I didn't know nothing else, you know. And, um, and, uh, and of course, yeah. fighting Floyd Mayweather will put you on the map. Fighting for me with to put you a, a payday would from that day still pay you for right now. You mm -hmm. know, like it was it was essence for me to get to the best of in the division. So I I, I stayed at one fifty four. Right. Um. I never. I went up from one forty seven to one fifty four. That's mm -hmm. the only two weight divisions I ever Fair fought at. Right. And so I always just wanted to fight the champion, the best, the best guy. You know, like the wanted to fight the best. See, that's guy why I respected history. about him though, because I always could tell. I could sense. You know, when you in your zone. He like me. I want to go for the top of the top, and that's why I always respect him because he never bowed down to nothing. He he always wanted the top right, shot, right, so that's right. why I was curious on like what's yeah. that mental? Because obviously Floyd, he's the goat in our eyes. Like yeah. About all the time. Right? I, re I remember uh, Floyd fighting Miguel Cotto. I remember Floyd fighting Cotto. I mean, uh, Cotto and fighting Canelo. And and I'm just still sitting at number three in the WBC. And I was just sitting there. It's almost like they forgot. I couldn't almost... move up. No, Pacquiao was a weight. He, he was, was really at one floor. Floor. Originally, he was, he was, he was under. But what, but what happened was Floyd went and fought Canelo and took his belt. And Floyd became a champion and just milked the clock for a long time. And and he stayed at 154 as a the, the primary super champion, and then it was Canelo coming up in because that Canelo he started, was young when he seen when, when when they went when they seen each other Canelo and Floyd. Well, Canelo was young at that time. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. About yeah, 21, yeah. 20. So, the, but Canelo and Floyd kept you know and just just to add to this, y'all. I don't know if y'all was aware, you know, recently um Canelo uh, had released that they they offered him this fight when he was like 18 years old or something like that uh canelo they offered him the floyd fight and he definitely would have got his ass beat if he had took it then he said his trainer eddie reynoso told him we don't take the fight now and we'll get it later and make 10 times as much and that's pretty much what happened and then after a while they just kept fighting each other and all of the guys kept fighting each other and you know we we buzzing the Hoya phone up and canelo was supposed to fight in texas at the uh at the uh the astro stadium at the it was called the mini maid park i think it's still called that but he fought he fought james kirkland you know uh, james kirkland didn't do anything in that fight he didn't present himself for a texas native yeah. and i and i felt like I, that was my destiny that was my chance that i should have took on when they should have fought me at the time my brother one time we went to a fight i was with floyd he wasn't there he was like hey bro please be careful be smart and don't like we're not fighting Floyd. He's not gonna ever fight you, bro. Mm -hmm. and he, that, 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 that's crazy. what clicked in my head. And then I was just go like, crazy and like, bro, do you know what we do? Do you like, know we try to chase everybody? Everybody. That's why I even like, won, won my belt. So the top. If you at the top, you yeah. gotta see you everybody got at the to. top, and that's what we are. So like everyone, those shallow twins, like them, them the kids you don't bring to the birthday party. Harris Londy was fighting. Harris Londy was fighting Jared Heard. And it was like, bro, you started calling this man out, this old man out. He used that exact term. You old man. He ain't even the champion right now. Uh, her, the undisputed champion. You at the fights to go watch her. The, leave Floyd alone. Literally, leave Floyd alone. <laughs> Why, bro? Bro. He told me to do it, bro. Because, because, because he ain't gonna do it. Like two, 
He knew he wasn't going to win the cool. I just, I just, he he hey, gonna take that fight. Here my, here my part of it. I really just feel like, bro, you're picking on this whole. Nah, thing. nah, nah, not necessarily like you picking on him, but like. Man, I, we look up to him as a legend. We looked up to him all our life. Like, you know sure. what I'm saying? Like, like to share the ring with him? Awesome. Cool. We like that part. But you know what we do? <laughs> you know what we do? Like, when That's you come at say. Floyd, you come in at Floyd. Come like, with, with, with that, with Charlo, like Floyd, like, it's, nah, like, you know what we do? Lead it, lead, lead it. That's it's still no ruining the relationship. Right, not just a relationship. Got a relationship. Boy, actually, look, I don't have a relationship with him. I don't. I don't got no call, no text. This ain't no friendship. It's just none of that. I right, 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 So I didn't care about it. But I got respect for what my brother was saying because he. It, it was almost like I'm like I looked at Floyd like I would look at him like we 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 the Charlo twins. We 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 champions. We. We, you know what we do? Like we fight for this. We die for this. Right, right. See, so, but what is gonna, that though? Because that's the, that's you know, what I'm gonna fight your brother. Yeah. Like, like, and then it like, felt like that to me in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The relationship I, he got with Floyd. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we had a great time. He with me. He, he with still me. big bro he though. Floyd still big bro with the love. Still to the love. Will always be the love, bro. But it's different when you competing and you going for the top of the top, bro. I know, but at the time you gotta be smart. Floyd made with his. Is is done like you know what? But I get you coming he's from done. brother. But I he's get already, him he's already from a legend. He's already done. His... He's a Hall of Fame a legend. He's he's the face of boxing for so many years. But I thought y'all came from the trenches though. Well, we have, yeah, and we we like that. And well, we we but you but you took it easy. Gave you gave him a pass. This Floyd, bro, this Floyd made with the junior. Like he gave him the pass. I gave him the pass. Exactly. So bro, I, like they, <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> they on different sides of the spectrum, like. It seemed to me, Big Charlo, Maul Charlo had a relationship with Floyd. Male Charlo didn't have a relationship with him. And it seemed like because of it, he was more willing to go at him. But at the same time, his brother having more of a relationship was telling him to chill. He ain't going to fight you. Like, don't make it seem like he ain't going to fight you because he'd be scared to. I mean, Floyd was the guy, man. Like, he still remember he fought more champions than everybody. So when you say he milked the clock, he did it intelligently and he still fought guys that needed to be fought like that. You know, guys coming off their best wins and things like that. So right. Mel is the, the looser one. Know what I mean, he loose, he be in go mode all the time and I appreciate it and I like it, but at the same time, believe it or not, Maul Charlo is being more realistic. This is fluid. We talk about like, yeah, I give him a pass. Nothing like, yeah, you probably glad you ain't running to him early because you would have been had a loss to be honest with you. Well, yeah, I wasn't beating that dude back in no 2018. I don't give a damn what y'all talking about. I mean, Maul Charlo, he wouldn't have fought you because you was at 160, but Mel wouldn't have beat him. I mean, need to be for him to get that fight for fighting dudes like Canelo, Cotto, and Pac Man at the time. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, you might have been somewhere ranked around the neighborhood, but. He wasn't the one in position to get that fight. You get what I'm saying? He do facts, guys. So got that little bro sy syndrome for real, for real. I'm defeating the fight channel on the KO Street. Yeah, man. That's what I'm saying. He did it as a damn welterweight facts ghost. Like, so I don't want to hear that. You know, some fights he ain't he it's just this simple. You can't fight everybody. You get what I'm saying? But he fought everybody at the same time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I gave the pass because he could be 60, I, I could be 50. I, 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 I feel both sides of the story. I gave him the pass, but guess what that did? It motivated nah, him to have a cool year. So I'm like, Lord. Floyd was undisputed. You undisputed. My brother's still undefeated. Wait, 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 Floyd was the golden Mr. child West of that Luke era. Queen, I'm the golden child of this era. I'm the man everybody. of this yeah, era. And like honestly, time, truth be told, me. you can count back all of these years and put me and him on the same pedestal. Me and Floyd, both, after he retired, wasn't even two months, I fought the number one guy. I fought the number two guy or the number one guy. I don't know what rank I was, but it was the one and two. And I won the belt that Floyd let go of. When he retired, they take your title. It become vacant. I knocked out John Jackson. After John Jackson, I went on a rodeo. 
and I ain't never let go. I ain't let the horse. I ain't let the bull go yet. You so when we gonna see? When we gonna see you and Earl Spence? And, and I know that's a tough one. Can we see that? That's the same one. Isn't that the same conversation as Cody? It's not. Not up, bro. I want it. Why you don't want it? It's not a tough. It's not. It's not a tough question, actually. All right. Let me hear bro point of it, if you don't mind. Why? Why you say no? It ain't. It. It. I mean, they train together. It's they train together. As part of the seventh generation of Tim Perry Farms, we support a new leadership at our school. They train together. I mean, boxing is not a team sport. It's a one man sport. Man's sport. I do get that. But there's some people in Just boxing more in that field, you yeah. kind of shadows. Uh, those moments with that that you don't get everybody yeah, and it's just one of those things that's why i said like floyd was like the he the og it's like you don't don't you're like pipe down when it come to og but like somebody else or who, anybody else you want he went and got the number one spot you know what i'm saying so i i earl yeah. and, and, DJ, and I we grew up together yeah. let alone fighting right now and they have the same trainer right it's I not, can respect that. I wouldn't fight on me. Yeah, I mean, right. personally, honestly, right, to get in the ring time, with yes. somebody, I don't really like that person. So what if the world? Like, what if the world want to see that though? What you know they do? And, and it's a big payday. Uh, right. So let me answer that question. Yeah, <laughs> let me answer that question. Do you want to hear this? So no, like, you don't so want to hear this. Honestly, I don't think money. I, I like the money gonna come, bro. The money gonna go. It's it's not, it's the friendship. The, the the, the, what, we got, here, bro. what we got, what we got, what we got, here, bro. what we got, bro, 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 really? yo, what we got, we shouldn't have to like, I, I would fight. So then I answer the question. I, 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 bro, 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 So true, you know, all due respect to Floyd, he did whatever he did in his career. And, and the problem is when you fight in different eras, you're going to get different fighters. You're going to get different personalities, different trainers, different everything. The, the game gonna change. Um, Facts. Edgar. Well, which is the floor? He's still Facts, doing a crazy, bro. amazing thing. I got a lot of respect for him. I respect him. I honor him. Like I think he's a great person. You know what I'm saying? And he's a he's a great fighter. He show business intelligence. But personally, no matter what, I got goals to to accomplish and follow as well. You know, I want to live out my purpose, and who whoever knows what it is. Um, and I'm the golden goat too, mm -hmm. you know, you know. So, what what I want to say is, me and Earl Spence, we train together. Uh, we've done a lot. We've done a lot of training together personally. We sparred a lot of rounds together. Mm -hmm. We know each other pretty well. We personally talk. We talk about personal things that that's not out on camera. Sure. We we got a great relationship. Y'all brothers. We, yeah, like we we feel mm -hmm. like brothers, but um, um. The reason I I won't fight Earl Spence straight up, but truthfully, my brother's coach, who's a savage named Ronnie Shields, he let me fight one of his fighters that he used to train. Mm. And when I fought him, he told me that was the the worst fight that I that he's viewed me as. And so I think you talking about I'm kind of trying reason. to redeem my personal I self. Think. Like I want to show my coach that I'm really that Back, guy. God, self, but without man. all of that being on the table, terminated for real. I want to fight Earl. But personally, I would fight him if the bag big and we can make a deal and we can make something go re phenomenally crazy. I fight him. <laughs> Shit, you, you probably tired of fighting me, dog. No, nah, I, I don't. You know, I, 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 you the know, last you time we like that. The last time we <laughs> have a sport, <laughs> the last like, have a sport I got I'm the best of cool over here because, like, you know. Uh, you know, the last time we ever scored, I got the best of it. How many fights have y'all had? More like I'm being cool over here. What's the record? I'm undefeated. I have 37 fights. Huh? Yeah, oh, no, I'm talking about y'all two. What's the record yeah, of y'all? I'm still undefeated. <laughs> he, 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 never, he never, he never, we, 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 uh, like we have to stop fights. fighting each other. And we, like, have, we have plenty of sparring sessions, plenty of fights. <laughs> it's un unbelievable. We don't fight each other. We don't fight each other. Yeah. We don't fight each other. He lying here or never try to fight me. I mean, if the bag is sitting right, man, you know, you know, like, <laughs> if the like, bag sitting right, I would go on Big Brother your ass. <laughs> 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 like, 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 like,
and I can ask my mama and put everything in front of her about as far as finances, put everything as far as about image and everything, I would definitely go to my mom first and ask her, you know, like, what would be my best decision in taking a, a, a journey amongst father and my brother? But then one thing that me and him do intel is that like I like we know that we come to kill in boxing. Right. We don't we just want to fight. Mm -hmm. We want to really destroy her. So to my destroy family that and body and like make early a, build, man. like do we go I'm in this thing and make a joke different. to the world? And like put on like a WWE type Hell of no, event. No, because this ain't WWE, bro. Are fighting each other. No. Or do we really Hell come no. together or hate each other? Because we have our back and forth. I and mean, we went through almost two years when he had a sour wife. I ain't like her. He wanted to fight me all the time. You know, and so I try my best to make it go in. But she was down there putting us at work. But once mm. that. Once he woke up and realized the best yeah. of the best is so us being him, stuck together. Really was him. Right. But I like that. I, I like that. They being real in the moment right here. Right. But you know, it really was me. You can't accept that. It was, no. When he had an uncoherent one, one you, you, know how, you know how you can just. Everybody got women, man. Type of no, we're not one woman, woman is going to be. Bro. Just ignore that, bro. Like, you ignore this. Like, you, ignore like, you ignore what I'm saying. Bro. You ignore this. You don't want to fight me. You ignore this. Yeah. Like that. You're <laughs> sitting there between the winner, so let's ignore this at moment. The day, at the end of the day, I taught you all everything you know. Ooh, I'm a best friend. I see, that's that big brother talk you, right there, B. Yeah. It's crazy that you said something. You said something offline where you were like, "Yo, that was the worst two years of my life." Y'all not together, you know. You was like separation. Yeah, it's anxiety. a good, nice build, guys. So right. salute. Appreciate y'all like, pulling up for this. Talk to me about I just that. Like, how pick was up the those two years? From it, why was it so tough? Let the Are people hear it. For on anybody that didn't hear it, I'll be back later. Like I said, salute y'all. Appreciate y'all pulling up. The real ones know. Hey, 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 pipe it up. Hey, look. All right, so look. When I say like it's real, like real life, like mirror motivation, like. If I see my brother go get uh, uh um big dooley, I want a big dooley too. I want, I want that big dooley. You know what I mean? You go get a big mansion, I want a big mansion. Right, like, nigga, this is a good bit. It's down. But back then, nice when you dude. don't have all that, nice when we didn't have money, when when things weren't like this, no belts on the table, it was like uh you got you in a position to, to fight and um you on uh ESPN, Showtime, whatever you on. Meet you, my nigga, bro. Get two up. Yeah, get to take it. No, be real. We keeping it. I was signed with Golden Boy. All right, you said keep it one. This, this is real life. So, it, it almost felt like mm -hmm. to me, like I don't want you to uh, don't leave, don't, don't, don't turn up yet, don't turn up yet, don't forget about it. Don't, me. yeah, don't, Give don't, me there. don't, no. So you took off first. So you took off first. Oh, no. So so you took off first. Oh, no. So he took off first. Okay. Nah, he, he funny, took sad. off first. Like in high school, bro driving around in uh uh Michi Bishi Galant. It don't matter. Whatever car you had, no, rims on it. Like, like, nah, he's you know, but he like he, he's like, not even supposed to be driving. 20, so he was having shit. Right. Like, bro, was having shit. Nobody had cars, nobody never repeated it off. Yeah, like 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 Mel Ben getting to it. Never wore the same clothes. Appreciate you guys, guys though. Man, I appreciate you. I never repeated it. I was like, right, 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 I had toe surgery. I'm still trying to fight in the Olympics. Like at mm. this time, me and Earl Spence was roommates. Mm. Like growing up through the amateur, dope, he was already pro. Earl was like, right, you need to be a pro. Like, no, brother, like it was times like that. Like, I was like, right, I told him to leave, you know? 
Pac Man, ATS, Tay Woods, Greg Williams, Bro, Craig, 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 Dang, dog! Like I want to see, like I want to see my brother. Like I want to see my brother, and I'm looking for that love from my brother. But we working out right now. Let me try to find a love somewhere else. But I'll go to some homies, go to my friends, you know, go to my dad, call my mom. But it would, you can call the close people to you. But it's like the the uh, the encouragement that he gave me. Crazy, the separation. Nobody can give it to me. Hunter Young, like, fan. and, I, and if it goes so long without it, right. That's why I played this. Like, I salute to y'all for gotta, pulling up. Kind of like make that, you know? And that was one of the things that. Right. Everyone just wants to fight. The fight the most American fans, crabs in the barrel. And Zach B, that's why I played this too, bro, because people like need to understand that it's the same way you go through stuff, these dudes go through it too. You know what I'm saying? And, and what he was dealing with wasn't something he planned. It wasn't like he was sitting around messing his life and career up, making a bunch of bad decisions. It's some stuff that happened that's, you know, that you can't plan for sometimes, you know what I'm saying? And you just need ample amount of time to deal with it. Like I said this before, some demons can't be fought in the gym and in the ring. And I, I say this over and over when it pertains to this guy, I truly believe the things that he was dealing with is just simply deeper than boxing. So you know, before you even get yourself back into that square circle, you got to get yourself right, bro. If you're not right, how are you going to go in there and perform, especially to the level you want to perform at? Because you're a top fighter and people expect a lot of you. So if you know you ain't where you need to be and, you know what I mean, because of it, you get what I'm saying? You, you know what I mean? So I, I, I level with him in this situation. I truly hope that, you know, the, the worst is behind him so he could hurry, you know, not even hurry up because I don't want to be insensitive to the dude's situation and struggles, right? But I just would like to see him get back to it because people need to put some respect on his name. And how do you get that respect? You get back to it. And I, I believe, you know, this period has been very trying for this dude. I think this probably been one of the toughest battles that he had to deal with. And it's crazy that his biggest, toughest battle has not been somebody punching him in the face. You get what I'm saying? So it's been outside the ring and that's, you know, it's unfortunate, but it, it just goes to show you that, you know, they're still human too. They're amazing athletes, but they still go through it. Unexpected things happen and you forced to deal with them. You know what I mean? Right. And I think that's what he been, been, I guess why he been out the loop. You know what I mean? And I think he's trying to get back to it. And uh, I just, again, I level with that because, it wasn't like he was just sitting around messing over his career and, and then, oh, this happened. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, it's different. I'm able to, you know what I mean? Like I said, just level with you and understand that the things happen, bro. And I, I truly, this is why my, my, my support of fighters is deeper than the win or a loss inside the ring. Like I, I genuinely be wanting to see people win as men and, and women in the sport, like as individuals, as people. So that's how I, I root for him deeper than boxing. Like, you know, I don't know this dude personally, but just as a man, like, you know what I mean? I, I root for him. He got kids and, and things of that nature. He got people that is dependent on him that he need to take care of. And, you know, this is how he feed himself primarily, boxing. And for him to be out for two years, like I said, you think this dude wanted to be out this long? This is what he loved to do. Don't nobody want to be away from what they love to do this long and then not making no money in the process. Hey, that's all wrong. Get what I'm saying? So I just hope the worst is behind him so he can resume his boxing career, get back to the bag, get back to, you know, putting hands on people and get 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 his respect back that he definitely deserved, man. Because this dude has been a hell of hell of a fighter throughout his career. Yeah, he's missing the big names, but he still got an opportunity to go chase those big fights when he get himself back right. You know what I'm saying? Me either, Kirk is like, it's like, bro, it's like, I just don't get it. I don't get it, Kirk. It just is weird to me. Like, I, 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 people be mad at you for going through stuff. Like, ah, he's all types of this and that. It's like, damn, bro. Like, y'all, y'all serious? This is why they don't be respecting what we do. I ain't saying be no kiss ass. I never tell nobody that, but damn, we could be 
you know, a little empathetic, you know what I mean, with people sometimes, like, understand that he a man just like us, but I don't care about, you know, once he get back, if you want to root against some shit, root against them. It's cool, but just don't root against them in this moment, in this situation. Same way you wouldn't root against any other guy that's going through something like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just be unfortunate that we be so insensitive to the trials and tribulations and things that they deal with. And their their careers are magnified and everything is put out there on front street for everybody to see. So, you know what I mean? Sometimes it's simply put, that shit could be a lot. I know it could. Jay Miller, what's good with it, family? How you feeling? Right, Ghost. I'm 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 hopeful. What's good with it, Jay? How you feeling? Appreciate you stopping through. I was playing the black ball and tried to take food away from them that don't and did. And that black ball, I would never want to see that. You know what I mean? That's weak, weak too. Like you would you would really be cool with being the reason somebody don't feed their family because you want to be weird. Like, that's weird, too. I'm never going to be in support of that. I just want to see boxing win. I want to see the individuals that participate in this sport that we love, that that make it what it is, win on a deeper level. You know what I'm saying? Just in life. So, like I said, I'm just hopeful that Maul is able to get back to what he loved. And, man, I hope he still share the same love and passion for the sport or even a deeper one. You know what I mean? And, and really – Go back here and take the respect that I feel like he he deserved. You know what I'm saying? I think he can do it. He's a hell of a fighter, man. A loss would make me look at him no different. You know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? So I just want to see him get back to it. Right, right. And he just and you just you know, and, and again, it could be it could be a number of different reasons, but at the end of the day, as long as you learn from it, get better from this situation, just come back and do your thing, man. And do your thing. Right. So it could it could be, you know, his own energy and karma it could be that but then at the end of the day i just look at it like it's life right and things happen in life period so you just gotta you gotta deal with them best you can and, and get better from it learn from the situation don't allow it to be a loss let it be a lesson and then you just move forward with your career and your life i'm from new england called him and showed him oh yeah did he that's what's up but you know again man the fighters talk man and, and that's what i do know i don't it's competition. I know they say things to each other. It's not a personal thing. You know what I'm saying? Unless people are making it personal. But again, we're going to get into the rest of this. Salute to everybody in the building. I like, make that, you know? And that was one of the things that, like, that's why I, I had to go get it. I had to go get, like, therapy for it. Like, I wanted therapy for it. So I, I could be away from my brother. We don't got to argue. Because if I'm away from him, we get mad at each other. Yeah. If we away from each other too long, that's when y'all see what y'all normally, you know, and it's it just separation. I mean, I, a lot of people don't like to just, you know, say they have things right. or like something wrong with them. Right, or right. This, that's why you have to go he, to the doctor. You, know, you have to go get yourself checked out. That's what he could, never could, whatever I worked for him, Zach, and, and get back that's to real, it. I want to see That's real me. because you got to get All to the root of that. Because y'all relationship is complex. It's interesting. It's powerful. You know, it could be beautiful at times. It could be ugly at times. And um, just seeing y'all here today, it, it, you know, we're, we're witnessing it. Yeah, we good now. Look at him. <laughs> how how is it now? Like y'all? Mm -hmm. Nah, we good now. I think I we, think we I think it's this. Where did that energy come from? Like growing up, the energy yeah. come from truthfully right. just wanting to be great, bro. Like wanting to be great, wanting to really strive for like perfection, wanting to be great, and then wanting to be perfected. We twins, we look alike. We got so much that's so completely different about us. And you got to understand that person. And I grew up at a young man to understand that I, I, I understood him early. The rest of the world never really understood my brother. So I could let certain things go. We could go out today. He could go tripping and all of that. And then all of a sudden in the morning, I don't even need that phone call. Man, my bad. I don't need that. I know what, what time it is. He's he's different. Like, but the worst of the world will never it's gonna be completely hard. It's gonna be difficult to understand that he 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 his he really meant good for you. You know what I'm saying? But then the energy he has in the that has nothing to do with the upbringing. It's just about who he is and how he really carries up. He's different. He's one of a kind. I'm one of a kind, but we're twins. If I'm being honest, and I, I know my right. question right now I sounds crazy, and I it's like, I don't know if people understand what I'm trying to say, but I feel like y'all misunderstood. Do y'all feel like y'all misunderstood? Do. Yeah, we both can probably recite a song from Common 
back in the days, it was called Misunderstood. We both could recite that thing because that was like our favorite song. I even had it Misunderstood on the back of my leg and I covered it up just because I didn't want people to understand that's that's what it. Yeah, punch that like really button one time for you know, like I'm way misunderstood. Dude. I don't want to die with somebody saying. Don't come back oh, later. He's going to double duty. He's today. misunderstood because you know, like oh, he died because he was misunderstood. You know, like let me um, let me fix that. So let me. But, so you you brought up um. So for the audience sitting down with Jamel and Jamal, you brought up like mental health earlier and separation anxiety. Sam Adams, just the haze has all the taste of an IPA, but no alcohol. This might be an insulting question, but are y'all sophisticated? Hear me out. As athletes, where we come from, we all come from the same place, right? Like, the things that make us strong is also the things that make us weak. Like, I've been through so much shit. I've been in trouble so many times. And I realized, hey, like, those good, things that make me a dog on the field, on this early that aggression, day. that pain, still be back later, family. So is what's hurting me off. Just bear with me and get through this little thing like, that wait, they were doing. With y'all, when I'm hearing y'all, y'all, I'm like, this ain't play. This is real. You understand? Like, I'm trying to kill you. This ain't just no play. We ain't just coming here playing around. And you got to learn how to turn it on and off. So I said, that's why I said it could be insulting because it was insulting to me for him to ask yeah. me that question. You understand? Yeah. We sat down with George George Foreman. George Foreman said his first, because remember, he, he fought and then he retired for 10 years, then came back. Mm -hmm. He said, I was trying to kill them in the ring. He said, when I came back, it was all about the money. Like, that hurt him. He didn't want to ball up his fist anymore. He became sophisticated. You know, I get it. and so basically what I'm trying to say, and I'll let you respond however you want to respond is there comes a, p a point, And I don't know if this happened for you, Jack, in football, where it was like, damn, like I ain't trying to crack back this dude real quick because I might break his neck. I might give him a concussion. And that's when I knew it was time to go. Mm. Well, 100 percent. I'm me personally sophisticated. And I'm not any of that example of George Foreman. So in boxing, we mm -hmm. know that there's specific things that we have to do, like training and running and eating properly and enjoying ourselves has to be a Sweet bare minimum. But sometimes like we as time, humans please. don't care about that, right? So we're gonna go in and do a little bit more sometimes. But you know, I think we I think I'm probably more sophisticated than my brother, yes, but I'm but I, I understand the process of it. So I'm sophisticated, yes, but I, when it comes down to boxing, yeah. I still have that deadly mindset. Mm. My nickname in boxing is the Iron Man. Mm. The Iron Man is a character, of course. But the purpose I call myself the Iron Man is because you can unscrew my heart. Break that down. Remember, he had a, a heart that you have to screw in and out to make him work and all of that. I was the Iron Man, and I was called the Iron Man by Kenny Porter, Sean Porter's father. He named me the Iron Man in boxing. I don't know why, but I took that and, you know, dug a little bit deeper into it. And it was like, hey, I'm the Iron Man for real. I'm heartless in this game. But now as I go older and make a lot of money, making doing my thing, I have to realize, like, boxing is boxing. Making money is making money. But at the end of the day, what we grew up doing can never leave us. It's, it's going to stick to my heart. So one thing that's a part of that heart that's still inside that glass is a, something that we grew up to, and that's how we was raised. A Leaf Texas, right. SWAT. We have to have that 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 a uh, ruthless heart. My daddy always told us, "They're trying to kill you out there." Yeah, they're trying to kill you. Like, mm -hmm. so we made us like yeah, it always. Be it really that made us, like, I mean, almost every day you be told us. Yeah, yeah. in life throughout so the ring. That, but, but that, yeah. but that, I mean, I'm outside sorry, the ring, but in that's that, why in that I ring, brought that up is because, and I said, what makes us great is the same thing that make us weak out off the field, out of the ring, off the court. Like for me, I I got in a lot of trouble when I used to beef with a lot of people on my team because this was life or death for me. Football changed my life and my kids' kids. So when we lose, it ain't about nothing else but, no, we lost, and how the fuck we going to get it better? You understand? So, like, 
I didn't had a switch though. Jack, I seen the documentary. His dad telling y'all dad telling y'all like they trying to kill y'all. That's a different type of training. Mm -hmm. That's a different type of development. And how your dad trained too. That's how my dad trained me. But I'm talking about the anger. I got you like answer, boss. Boxers are on offense and defense. Mm -hmm. that part. Football players are completely focused on offense, or they're there's the offensive player ain't really gonna be on defense. Yep. Unless you're in high school. You play one side of the ball. Yeah, yeah you play it's one side of the mentality. ball. The our focusness is oh. offense and defense. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, Pops was preparing us to be defensively, but completely oh, offense. Let your offense be your defense. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that's exactly so what that 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 so, so what do you that's prefer exact, to be on? That's his exact words. But Jack, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. How many receivers on the really, really? How many receivers on the team? Even five, back, four or five in five. in game by four or five. All right, what about the ones that's on reserve? They not they not in the game. Though. Okay, okay, cool. Let me ask you another question. What if they take that star and put him in the back? But that star really. Salute to everybody in the building. Appreciate y'all pulling up, man, on this early build. Just getting through this interview, I just think this was a different side of the Charlos. They said some things, touched on some things. It's very but interesting. That, but that star really, once they, that star really deserved to be on the field. But when they put that star back on the field, that's our mindset. When they put like that they star, take you off and then put you back on, or just you ain't ever been out. He stayed on the field his whole career. And then all of a sudden, his time coming up. And then they don't really see him that way. And they take that star and put him in the back. And then put another young guy, right? right? Like us right. in boxing right, 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 right now. Like me and Floyd. Like me and Floyd right, right now, right? Right, right? And then all of a sudden, that star, he did his thing. Do that star become sophisticated like Foreman said? Or do that star be the Charlos and say, I'm still him. You. What you think about that star that 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 have no die in him? That's kind of like your situation That's now. That. You've been you've yeah, been chilling for two years. I, deeply, I mean, it's, it's just boxing. Like, but see, you won't understand because I'm not talking about defense. Right, right. All alone, we still got to work shows. For sure. Nah, that, that, that's that's big. We got yo yo yo. We got four lions sitting right here right now. Yeah, I like this. What, what's like a lion? This, so salute to when, you, when you what y'all say, lion man, order? Lions family, only. Bro. Lions only. Lions yeah. only. It's just us. Lions. It's just yeah. us, us. Lions. What it's is it. a lion though? When you because like that, that's a different type of spirit. It's a different he, he, type uh, of energy. It's like we the survivors. At the end of the day, we the survivors. They trying to kill you out there. My pops told me trying to kill you out there. You go get it. You it, it ain't no. It's no. It hurt. It do hurt. But you gotta go get it. And that, that's he instilled that in us, right? Like he was serious about it. Let me help you out. <clears throat> no, no, I don't need no help. Hold on. Like, we were no. twins. We were <laughs> twins. Wait, wait. Let me finish. Because we Michael's were stars when we was growing up. We <clears throat> was <throat> twins. Everybody. All right, I gotta be like Oprah right now. Let your brother twins. talk. I gotta be like Oprah right now. Let your brother talk. All right, elaborate a little bit. You already, you already, you already talked for an hour. Man, I'm crazy. So I show up, bro. I see it. 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 I see Dog, he was still a beast. But they couldn't put him on the bench. No, nah, he not. He, he, did, he still he the guy, guy that wanted to talking about he's that lion. For sure. He's he way different. He that he's still that lion. Like he was still that guy. You know what I mean? Michael Jordan is always gonna be Michael Jordan. So like we look at it like that. Like it's never when we when we decide that we don't want to box no more, then we'll we'll take the pressure off of everybody else. All right, that's how it's gonna be forever. And as long as we doing this, we're gonna have the belts, we're gonna have pressure on everybody neck, and that's just what it is. But when it comes to boxing, to me, he came into the conversation talking about humble, right? That was his his way of Him speaking. Too. That's cool, but listen, man, it's not. I, I ain't gonna fault nobody for that. But for me, I'm, I'm overconfident, but never too cocky. You feel what I'm saying? When I come through the front door, I'm gonna leave through the back, and when I come in, I'm gone, and I'm like an assassin. So for me, I'm I'm a hunter. Mm -hmm. I don't lay down for nothing. I don't bend over for nothing. And I'm going to keep going. I'm going to run right through you. Smallest dude on the field. 
Hey, guess what? My, my pops always said, you can't hit what you can't see. And your heart bigger than anything. I don't give a fuck how big I am. So for me, that's how I came in every situation. I play in the league, 6'5", 330, 350. I ain't supposed to be on the field. I'm 5'10", 165 when I first came in the league. Yeah, for real. d is small, league. bro. Beast. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? That part. Man, man, yeah. That's <laughs> that for 15 years. You played football? 15 years. Did it the high level. One of the best good boxers. Boxer. That's a good boxer. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But I told them things too, though. I, I do all that. I ain't, sure, ain't going to be no celebrity boxing. You are the most fast than everybody on. Yeah, one of the greatest receivers ever. Mm -hmm. If you can't skip Platinum Plus, that hello, this and that. Exactly that guy, man. My bad, y'all. Pardon me with that dumb ad. But man, this is a nice build. D Jack was one of them dudes, though, man. He was one of them talents. Nah, that ain't me. That's my, you know, that's a look alike. I couldn't even be in the movies. <laughs> Shady, you gonna love this? Hey, we're gonna be talking about this for three months after this show. You a fool, y'all. Nah, I ain't playing hey, Nah, bro, that ain't me, bro. I just look at like this. I'm gonna no, but, but, no, but, no, but, cool, cool, bro. No, finish, no, hey, finish, because you just said some You post. watched me walk in the door to right now. If I knew who you was, nah, I would have came at you with the it's just fire. Hey, bro, look, we doing some. We, yeah, nah, for I'm sure. not like that, bro. Nah, I'm sorry, sure. bro. No, like, it ain't no. I don't got familiar faces, and yeah. I ain't recognizing everybody. But we wear helmets. When you bro. throwing this shit at me, and I'm nah. listening, I'm putting this shit on. I'm like, nah, for sure. Damn, like little, fast, like strong, but then I'm thinking, and I'm like, the Jets, and then I'm, I'm putting it okay, all so together. Okay, so what team did he play for? Philly. Okay, yeah, okay, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Boxer, man. Yeah. Boxer, yeah. Boxer, yeah. Boxer, yeah. Boxer, yeah. All right, bro. I ain't like, I ain't like, I'm not like that, bro. Like, bro, I don't care. Listen, but man, I'm, I'm you give respect for me because I think you like, you put in a different effort. Like, you no, put I it, like, it. I know your, I, I know when I dig deep into my brain, I know a lot about your career. I play with you on DraftKings, I play with you on the game. Like, mm -hmm. straight up, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, right. You done? My bad, bro. My okay. bad. Nah. I want to get my back to you. My old as shit. My bad. Like, nigga, shit. He was in the Ocho Cinco days. Nigga, you old as shit. You heard me say Calvin Johnson earlier. Right. <laughs> <laughs> my everything was Calvin Johnson. I didn't know the respect, though. I just, I'm just, my, my thing, bro, just is the mentality. No, but you said some bars, bro. Like, you was talking about coming in. Like, you, some of that stuff, you know, you, the L.A. culture and how y'all talk. I got crucified for being a nigga that came from the streets. I got cut from the Philadelphia Eagles by Chip Kelly. Yeah. Chip because Kelly why? and Bozo. Oh, he's a gang member. He's from the hood. So what? I, I've been this way my whole life. I ain't been to jail. Ain't got no felons. None of that. Clean record. Right. But at the end of the day, I can't turn my back on where I came from. You feel what I'm saying? They so funny, me, man. This I got good. crucified for being who I was because I didn't I didn't turn my back on the homies that grew up in the 60s and the 40s. You feel what I'm saying? Really game banging, shooting and kid. Like, I didn't turn my back on that, bro. And that ain't nothing to brag on. We talk about that all the time. But guess what? That's what made me. You feel what I'm saying? Because when I grew up in the streets, the big homie said, hey, you get off the corner. You play for the Ravens too, huh? Yeah, I played for all that. You know what I'm saying? I played for like 17. He's bothered by this. He bothered. Made bother. over 100 million. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, that's me. Right, but at the end of the day, like I'm saying that to say, man, like, trying to get 100 million. Yeah, like, you gonna like, get it. Bro, you bro, young. Time. You don't even gotta talk money to me. I know I, I already get assists. <laughs> I'm, I'm in my mind 50 and up. Yeah. Like, I ain't know that. I'm trying to get there. Put me in there with Canelo. Put me in there with Canelo. I've been calling him out for years. Why he running? I don't think he running. I think um, my brother just been going through what he going through. He been so nice. Look, what did you fighting Canelo got to do with, with bro? I'm undisputed. He undisputed. Let's meet in the middle of the way. That's your Don King? We can take, we can That's your Don King? I'm the Don King, actually. I own. He he started Lions Only, but I'm the CEO of it. Hey, you the Don King? But I see every time you're saying this, bro, like he 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 said this. What's, what's, what's going on with you, bro? You, 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 you have been sitting in the cut and chilling. It's been two years. If you don't okay, fight, let's talk about it. By July, you gotta. Is it relinquish the belt? No. Is, am I using the right language? He don't gotta do nothing. Everybody go through stuff, bro. Like I used to hear about this, like when I wasn't going through it. Mm -hmm. I used to always hear about, like you know, people really be going through. So, like you, you know, you see some something, something happen to somebody, see a wreck on the side of the road. Like man, like you don't want to be that in that position. Yeah, or that ain't gonna happen, that to me. happen to me. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen to me. But that can happen to anybody. You know what I mean? So uh, I took some time off to get myself 
together like we were talking earlier about the mental health but everybody trying to blame mental health on stuff but sometimes it, i mean for my situation it's not mental health i have no mental health issues i have issues going on with like me actually getting my real life shit. it's like running into a wicked demon like everybody running into demons out here yeah like we can fight them all right he ran into one right, that John, was like, gonna get it hey, hey, all right, yeah. Because he's so, he <laughs> opening up a bottle, <laughs> which is a good sign. You don't want to talk about that. You don't want to talk about that. Got some rainbow rocks. Bro, we all go through it, bro. All right, so look. Yeah, um, I had mental health issues. Like, you know, I had high school sweetheart. I got a family. I'm doing the things right. Like, I never looked at it in the wrong way. You know, I never felt like I was doing, I was making a mistake. You know what I mean? I'm boxing. And she go on a journey with me, and we are uh, we you know for our kids and everything you know, emotional you know everything is what it is you know I, I'm I'm supposed to take care of my family right but then when I'm not able to take care of my family then what I'm supposed to do I, I'm gonna go hunt like I'm really like a little lion I'm gonna go hunt you know what I'm saying I'm hunting so you know I, but in the midst of you get if you get injured in it you gotta take your time off heal up and get yourself back to that. And that's what I had to do. I rebuilt myself. I'm better now. I feel better now. I'm happier now. So me and my brother's super close. We get in arguments because I like to argue with him because mm -hmm. it makes me stronger. That's you your relationship. No, I, I want to say this, bro. Really like I hear you, mm -hmm. and, and you really not going there. And I want to. I just want to say to you, I like how real they okay. getting right here. You know what I'm saying? In 2011, I was like one of the first athletes to say, like, yo, I had to take three months, sit down. And I had to tap into my mental health. Um, and now every every other week, there's another athlete saying, oh, shit, I deal with depression. I deal with anxiety. I'm dealing with substance abuse issues. I'm dealing with, you know, divorce, financial challenges, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So we, we we're talking about lions only. And I feel like us as men, especially hunters, we can't show no weakness. We can't take a step back. That's how we was trained. Mm -hmm. Right, that's how pops trained you. But that's and we not talked realistic. about the we, we actually got in a me, you, Pac, Shady got in a big debate about this on the Joy Taylor episode. Like, can men show emotions and all of that? And, and what I believe, right, because everybody got their own opinion, I believe it is okay for us to say, no, nah, I need to take a beat. I need to take a year. I need to take a two years. I need to take a month. I need I need to talk to my brother. Say, cry with my brother. Um, so whatever, whatever the part of the process Step you on, flow every night. Whatever part, whatever part of the process, wherever you're at in the process, right. bro. Right, like Jay, I this is real you, right here. Um, this is what I was like, getting at with Charlo. I always seen y'all from afar. You know, Barclay Center when I was playing for the Jets, y'all there. Y'all always love, always respect Vegas, all of that. This is my first time, really, like us, really kicking it. I love y'all, bro. For real. And I love you, bro. And I'm here for you and I support you. And I can't wait for you to get back in the ring. But if it take another three months, if it takes six months, that's what it is. And you don't owe nobody right. nothing. You don't got to apologize to nobody about nothing, bro. Like, your story is already it's made. It's cool. Like, it's already written. My brother, my brother, my brother um, lost his belts and got him back. That don't mean nothing to me. None of trophies. But what I really got is y'all. Real lions, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm thankful that y'all actually just realized that, like, man, people go through stuff. People realize that, like, we go through stuff sometimes. You know what I mean? Like, in my heart, oh, I'm still a child. I'm still a champ of the world. But then you hit rock bottom, so you like, you don't never know who for you, who know about it, who who really understand it. Right. Sometimes it be the people closest to you that really just don't understand. You. Bro, 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 that's just. Bro, I think that's, bro, that's really what that's your story, bro. Like. That's why, like, I really wanted to lean into that. It's and my agent right here, Kenard McGuire. Like, I mean, I'm sitting in a big house, bro. Seventeen thousand square feet, dog. Mm -hmm. yeah, good. yeah, man, this was a nice build, man. Again, salute to the fam and the building for this early one. I just thought they had some gems. It was a good good interview man it's not an interview this is a prime example of what a build is man i mean everything do whatever i want the man went and got me 50 million after i'd have been in trouble like with they said he 
You can't save him. And I'm sitting in with everything in Miami. And he come into my theater room. And I got my Bible laying on my lap. And he come to me and he say, and I'm like, I'm good. My lady leaving me. And him and my longtime assistant, Kathy Lee, they fly down. And he look at me, he said, bro, you, you need help. Mm -hmm. and yeah, I'm still wondering if, they, if like, people, no, if, if I should call that fight. In the theater room, dark ass theater room for about 12 hours. The next day I was on a private plane, probably my first time on a private plane, private plane at McLean Hospital outpatient program. Though. And Sometimes people just don't realize it, bro. Yeah. It could be people the closest people to you, all the guys, everybody that you grew up with, bro. It's just something you just don't understand. Bro, what I realized on campus, bro, was like like 300-something million Americans and 100-something million is affected by some shit, living with something. It touches all of us. And I, I feel like you haven't, if I'm being honest and transparent, I feel like you haven't really let it go because we live as athletes, especially in boxing. Y'all might be harder than football players, for real, like, because when y'all get in the ring, y'all can really die. And when you connect with a weakness, what they say is a weakness, mental health or whatever, or just I'm stressed or I'm going through a divorce or I, I just lost X amount. If we if we do that, if I tap into that and I tell the world that, then I'm not who I am. I'm not a lion. Right. So I don't feel like you feel like really like. Like really, like accepted it and let it go. Man, I'm just uh, I I have, but I haven't because like, cause I'm a champ, and everybody expecting greatness. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And yeah. then when I'm in my when my when when my back against the wall, then I'm in like my weakest. Then it's like everybody expecting greatness, but I have nothing to give them. You get what I'm saying? So it mm -hmm. make me kind of, you know, that's it, real. If you understand, you understand. You know what I mean? And then take people to go through things to understand. So I'll say this and we can move on. Bro, it's a sensitive cause, subject, bro, because it's like... Yeah, I I'm see you tearing up, tearing up. Like, yeah. I, like, I'm trying to hold it in because, like, it's real. Let that shit out, bro. I'm cool. I already, I already did that. <laughs> say that I bro. already did that. No, nah, like, bro, cool. let that shit out, bro. I already did that, bro. Nah. Nah. Tear. He wants you to tear it with cool. him, man. Nah, he already tearing up. He crying, nah, but like, nah, why, why, why can't cool, I cry? It's cool. You know, you know what they say? No, 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 Jack, let me tell you this. <laughs> let me tell you this. Everything I've been going through over the last three right, years, like, and that shit always is out. Up. It's posted. Mm -hmm. My chief of staff, Bonnie, she hit me one day. Definitely, She said, you know what I just learned? I liked it. I appreciate this build and this energy. I learned that you never know when a lion is crying because they roar yep. and that's crying and it's also I'm about to go hunt. So you never know. I don't talk about this really much, even like to my brother, but, but like for the fact that you really know what I'm going through, I am, bro. fucking love you. Love you too, guys. Hey, you, you, don't think I, you don't think I want to go get, you don't think I want to go keep all these belts? Listen to but I'm, I'm okay with going through what I'm going through because my brother gonna go get it. Remember, I said I'm this like, before. I don't, I don't know if people remember me saying this. I said if he needed any motivation, he could find it in his slightly younger brother. I said this. You ain't you ain't got a word because he doing it. He gonna go get it for you, man. And, and you won't be able to use him as motivation to lean on till you get yourself all the way back right. Then you could continue getting it how you've been getting it. This is something that I said, man. This is another reason why I thought this was dope because I said this way before I heard this. I said this, and it's dope to, to, to know that I'm somewhere in the right ballpark because I, I ain't just saying I said this before. I promise you this is what I've been saying. If he needed any motivation, he don't got to go no further than his brother, Earl Spence. You know what I mean? Even a David Morrell, when I posted that picture that they took with each other, that energy, that's what he need. He need to be with the love at and get himself back right. You don't think I want to go get? You don't think I want to go keep all these belts? Listen to him. But I'm a, I'm okay with going through what I'm going through because my brother gonna go get it. Up. I went and got him. That's there. why we got him. We for the same pride. Don't worry. He, I feel like I got him. Yeah, I'm cool. right. Let's I'm see where he goes. I'm gonna go get I'd him. I love to see where uh, where he goes. It's gonna feel like now. we got like everything. 
That's too much. Me and you having this moment, all four of us fucking having this moment. It's gonna make it sweeter. It's gonna make it sweeter. Because right. you 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 not being vulnerable, you not letting the world in. You motherfucking you talk about branding, you talk about a following. When you be vulnerable, bruh, that's the magic. You you know the fire you got in you, right? You know what you're going through right now. But until you 100 percent off that, bro, you don't want to hop in that ring, bro, when other shit on your mind, bro, because then it's gonna be like that'd be a reason. Not to say it will it, it will be anything other than to get that dub and that victory. But you don't even want none of that shit to be in the way of that shit, bro. You got to heal. You got to let that shit go. It's cool, bro, to get through that shit, bro. You're a credit pro. You're a credit play on man, bro. Oh, you got to win. You're a credit play. I fucking love y'all, bro. Let me go. 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 Nobody, nobody, listen, nobody has ever done what DJ has done, and we talking about yards, uh. Uh, yards per reels, bro. You got more highlight reels than him. You know what I'm saying? Man. Like even. When hey, can we ask him the question? Why we on since we're gonna get messy? Uh, you know, on our show we have a, a bunch of contributors and a couple contributors, not a bunch of a couple contributors, and we got two legendary contributors, Shady McCoy and Deshaun Jackson. Right? You just talked about giving us flowers. So if you are general manager, you're a general manager, and you had to pick one, right? I got. I got this. I got this bag right here. I got a hundred mil. I gotta give it to one of them. Are you gonna give it to D Jack? Are you gonna give it to Shady McCoy? And you gotta be honest, bro, cause y'all. I'll be honest. I'm gonna let my go, little brother go first. Hey, bro. Teach real good. Brother. Teach preach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I was just playing this uh this bill from the Charlo twins when they went on the I Am Athlete show, you know, podcast with Brandon Marshall and Deshaun Jackson. It's dropping some, some, you know what I mean? It's just a good conversation, man. I like some of the things that they built on, and it, it just hit on some things. And I, like I said, I know Charlo been wanting to get back to the ring, but them demons he's been dealing with been been bigger than him getting back in there. So he's saying he feel better, and I hope to see him back in there soon. Like they saying, I think June or something around that time. So that should be cool. I just want to see him back, but hopefully he back where he need to be. Mentally, so he could perform at the level he want to perform. Hey, at. Bro, you see that going? That's not right. So, Jaden, twice already. Just imagine me going through all this, like, like, in the last two years. You gotta take it easy, bro. Yeah, you know, bro. I'm not talking about that. Like, don't talk. Don't say nothing. Don't like. Sorry, bro. We're the same age, same birthday, for real. Every time, bro. I don't know why. It don't matter to me. I don't know why God gave us a big old minute. Yeah, that minute. That minute mean a lot. I got to bro. I got to go. I came out there first. Look, you gotta be, you gotta be respectful you to big bro. You gotta, you gonna get little bro for the rest of your life. I'm gonna always little bro you for the rest of your life. So you go, little bro, all his life. Still, this new Orleans on the flesh, little bro. This this tour been ending last time. I appreciate all y'all. Pulling up, listening to this with me, man. He's looking at me. Only reason why I got the bill is because you're here, bro. Because like who they trade at the end of the season to win them a Super Bowl or go to the Super Bowl, you that guy. That's all I can say. Like who would they trade for the specific moment? Mm -hmm. And I'll be back too later at our normal time. Y'all. I'll be back at the normal time too with another little bill as well. I don't want to say little, another dope bill as we always do. Just wanted to get the oh, gems out of this one. This was a good one. What you, what you feel, bro? So I need, I need to hear from both sides. I mean, you know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me do this though because Shady's not here, and we want to make it fair because Shady, on, like, we got a whole group chat, All right? And go crazy about this. Just them two, <laughs> right? Shady, um, 
all century team. Is it all not all century all team? Decade. All decade team. You know, I think. And then here goes Shady's argument. You can if you play for the Philadelphia Eagles, ten is available, twenty five ain't available, right? You know what I'm saying. So I just want to be fair. Hey, 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 that's, you know that's, what I'm saying. It's time and error. Like him, it's, time, it's time and error. Yeah, yeah, like him. Those are different eras in time. No, no, no. They played together. He's big bro though. Yeah, no, still, no, no, but Shady won't be two years apart. You know what I'm saying. So it's, it's, that's so, a lot. That's okay, a so you go with Jack. Hey, I was I to my brother Skills and the rest of the family in the building. Much love and appreciate. Shady got a why. Right, right, Mike. This is a good one, bro. This is a good one. I'm gonna stop and say it's towards the end, but this is a good deal. Yeah, I suggest y'all you definitely go check it out. I just want ain't want to screen share because I didn't know they hit me with a copyright, so I just want to. Hey, Jack, you my dog. I ain't mad. Trust me. You my dog. You know what? You know what's crazy? Because I learned how to actually pick now. You know why I learned how to pick? Because I stopped caring about all that. Like, I, I get it. It is my dog, but I got to let you go right quick. That's cool. <laughs> like, They're going right. to take, they take a running back over a receiver, though. If you're you a, fran you a franchise, if you're a franchise, no. he, they, they take him over I'm you. The debate continues. He said it when he said, though. If I'm picking it, I need that player to give me to that Super Bowl. Who's going to make the bigger play? Okay, okay. Yo, we going to take that small ass running back right now. They, them big old and them big old. Putting that curl in the chat. Salute to everybody pulling up for this early bill. Like I said, we're gonna still come back at our regular time. We're doing double duty today and we working, man. We gotta work, so we need to put this work in. But this was a nice little bill to get things going, man. I think they touched on some good things here. Salute to my bro. Jim, and we ain't man. never got a box again. Well, right. well, well, well. I already been getting these back, but but but, but now it's time year. for you to get your just do. Much love and appreciation, bro. Oh, and run the ball. Mm. And get yeah, like, the Who your all time running we back? Might even, we, we, we might even run the free Who your all time running back? Go. No, no, give me one and two. One all right, two. My all time running back. Like number one running back of all time. Yeah, come on, come on, hurry. Deion Sanders. I mean, running uh, back. Okay. Okay. Barry, Barry Sanders. Sanders. Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders. Number two, to my bro, okay. Jim, my bro, I would appreciate you. Keys George, to the game, boxing, what's mm. good with it, my bro? You, you, appreciate you, you pulling up to me. Tell me why, tell me why. I want to hear him first. Let's hear him first. I feel like Eddie George we'll run for a couple more minutes, y'all, and the, uh, we're going to go set up for my next that, live later. Uh, Henry look at. So you got Henry as your number one. And I probably, I'm pretty sure Let's McCoy, my bro Keith, favorite man. player, could have been he up there with him, though. He up there oh. with him. Oh, hold on, you know what? Football. So you said Shady, you could said be Shady could be Marshall Folk? Correct. Why? It's the agile that's in the, that's Oh, you know ball. ball. Yeah, no, we, 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 no, the we, reason why I, 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 I like that comparison, the reason why I like that comparison right? is because like, like Marshall Folk revolutionized yeah, the running right. back position. He was what you talking about. He was yeah, the, the running back that could run the ball, but he started catching out the backfield. Right. You know what I'm saying? And Shady, he ain't that. have as many receptions as the Matt Fortes and Marshall Folk. I like, or, I, I like Barry Sanders. Like he said, go continue. That time and error is different. So I try to get uh, a little bit closer. Uh, and like uh, I said, uh, Eddie George was boom, boom, boom. He's uh, almost like Derrick Henry uh, right now. And nobody and was really. Think, if you to get say Eddie George closer. was more like, like dude, uh, Derrick dude, Henry? Dude, I grew up to so? Emmitt Smith. He was a beast. He was a All right, I grew up to Emmitt Smith, so I gave you my. Eddie George you know, right now. But I'm Eddie really George of the league right now. Errol Campbell. I want Walter Payton. They ain't got nothing on these guys, bro. I'm sorry. Bro, it's a. Like, bro, the, even I'm the equipment, insane. even the equipment evolved, is pampered. Bro. Evolved. You, you with the pampered group. Evolved, All right, real quick, real quick. Give me y'all talk. Give me the talk right now. Y'all got to come up. Take two minutes. Man, I'm going to stop it here. Man, salute to everybody in the building. Like I said, this was a dope build. This lets you know exactly where Charlo feel like he at right now, why he kind of been off. He didn't get into, you know, too much, but we pretty much know what it is. His personal life took a hit, an unexpected hit. And then, you know, offset a lot of things and, you know, it needed it made him take a big break, big step back from boxing, something that he probably desperately needed anyway. Because, like I said, and I will always say this, some demons can be fought in the gym and in the ring, man. And, and he's a prime example of that. And I, like I said, I hope the worst is behind him now and he's able to get back to, to boxing and, and, you know, splitting heads like he's been doing, man, because. 
you know, him on top of his A game is a damn good fighter, and, and he's just one of the top dogs, man. He's been that since he's been in boxing. So to go through what he went through, I know it, it. You know, his confidence and everything took a hit. You know what I'm saying? Like he said, when he had his weakest, people still expect greatness, and he don't have nothing to give. You get what I'm saying? And that's just real. It just couldn't be no realer than that. And it ain't about him, you know, so much tearing up, but that's real. You know what I'm saying? He just had to, it was a moment. It was a real moment. And for him, for, 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 you know, Brandon Marshall to truly understand what he going through made it easier for him to deal with. And remember, I said this before as well. I say he just need to be where the love is. That's all Brandon Marshall kept saying throughout this. You know what I mean? When it, that opportunity presenting itself, man. I love y'all. I love you, man. Like you get what I'm saying. I and mean, that's just sometimes just what it is. You go with the love at. You go with the authentic energy at. You go around the people that truly want to see you win. That don't want nothing from you. That just want the most of you. Want to see you flourish, man. That's that's really all he need. What he was dealing with. You heard. You heard what he said. He couldn't be around his brother, so he was going to try to find love in other places. He hitting all the, you know, everybody else close to him. You get what I'm saying? And that's just what it's about at the end of the day. He just needs to be where that love is at, man. And, you know what I mean? Let it be known that, you know, people still rock with him, care for him, want to see him do his thing, man. That's just what it was, right? So that I think that was dope to hear from him, man. Like I said, my support with boxes are deeper than the winner or loss in the ring. You know what I mean? I, I genuinely be wanting to see people win as individuals. You know what I'm saying? And it's no different with the Charlo brothers or, or Maul Charlo or any other fighter that's dealing with something. Like, it ain't about feeling sorry, but it's about understanding and, and what a person dealing with. And he makes them human. Ricky Williams, what's good with it? How you feeling, my bro? Love us. <laughs> what's good, Rick? Yeah, it did. It did a hell of a reversal, role reversal. They sure as hell did. It was a hell of a role reversal. D1 was good with it, bro. Appreciate you, family. I appreciate you. I'm 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 just closing out anyway, D1. I'm gonna still come back at my regular time. I just wanted to build on this real quick and, and play this with y'all. Let y'all hear some of these jewels. It's a good listen. If anybody didn't check it out, man. That I am athlete from the Charlo twins with D Jack and Brandon Marshall. That was a nice build, man. And again, I just root for people deeper than the boxing ring. That's just me. That's how I'm set up. I genuinely root for people to win in life, period. Male, female, don't matter. You know what I mean? So everybody go through things, but you go through them, you get through them, and you get to it. You know what I mean? That's how you do it. So I think that's what he's doing here in the process of that. He sound like he's doing all right. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I just caught that, too. <laughs> in the process of doing that, which is great for him. You know what I'm saying? It's something that he, he, he definitely much needed. And... Again, man, his biggest battle came outside the ring. Hopefully the worst is behind him and he'll be able to resume, man. That's that's what it's all about. But like I said, he found motivation somewhat in his brother. And he cool with going through what he's going through because he know his brother going to go get it. So it was something I said before, way before I heard this. So it was dope to hear him say that and know that I was somewhere in the right ballpark of how where, what he kind of needed and where he found motivation at in his younger brother. I said, man, ain't no better way to do that. Right, man. You got to get back in there and win and be impressed to get back to it, bro. That's why I'm rooting for him, man. Go get all those little kinks out your system, man. I mean, get back. be Go be 100% focused like you need to be and go whoop somebody ass. Go take back the respect that people are not putting on your name. And I get it. Out of sight, out of mind, right? What has he done lately? Nothing, right? I get it. But as it stands, man, I'm still rooting for him. I don't, I don't think he's above being human and going through things i seen him post something about making a fight we're going to talk about that too when i come back later uh fate we definitely going to talk about that we're going to chop it up because that that's what i think he hitting that you know what i'm saying i think he hitting at that as well like i don't know what else he could be talking about right so we're going to see though we're going to talk about that and a few more things you know as usual we're going to build and we working today so i'm doing double duty y'all so again appreciate everybody pulling up Salute to my family. Y'all punch that like button for me. And we're going to keep rocking, man. This was dope. Again, man, um, hope to see him back in the ring. Like they said, something like June. So we're going to see. It's a couple people supposed to be fighting that, around that time. So uh, hopefully everybody, um, everything go according to plans and everybody uh, get their fights and their fight dates. And more importantly for him, hopefully he get a fight date and get back in the ring. 
and win. You know what I'm saying? So he could get back to it. So salute to everybody here. Fate, I will be back, family. Salute to everybody. Miss Joette, the queen. Peace. You make sure you enjoy the rest of your day as well. And like I said, y'all see me in a quick minute because 4 o'clock will be here immediately. So I'm going to go put together something else. Go see what else I didn't talk about. And we're going we gonna to chop it up as we always do. So we're going to see what's next for the... um. For the Charlo brothers, both man, let's, let's see Mel back in there. I definitely want to see Mel back in the ring as well. You know what I'm saying? And um, we're gonna see, man. Hopefully, this dude, you know, like I said, put the them, them issues behind him and get back to it, yo. Because uh, the, the boxing world is a lot more exciting when he's on his A game and when he's in, you know, what I mean, when he's in active. You know what I'm saying? Charlo's one of them dudes, no doubt about it, and he's lost a ton of respect seemingly since he's been out of sight out of mind like a lot of people like i said people don't even be trying to hear that you're going through things they just want you to get in there and fight they don't be trying to hear it so uh, i think that interview right there added some validity to exactly his frame of mind and what he's been going through and and how he feel now you know what i'm saying and it helped you understand a little bit more of the charlo's relationship and they bond man he said a lot of real things in there man Salute to Brandon Marshall, man, and uh, Deshaun Jackson. That was def definitely dope, dope build for the culture for sure, man. But much love and appreciation to everybody in the building, man. It's been another dope one as always. You know I'll be back later, man. So y'all catch me there at 4 o'clock, and we going to build as we always do, man. Much appreciation to everybody in the building, and we out. Peace to the fam. See y'all in a bit.